Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, my name is The Winners and today we're at Spelle Spectacle 2024. This is the biggest tabletop gaming show in the Netherlands. There's lots of trading card games, board games, but there's also war games in here. There's a few things that I'm looking forward to today. One of them being a demo for the game Moonstone. And other than that, we're going to uh, try and see if we can get a demo game for Ark World from Warp Miniatures. I'm also a huge fan of trading card games and there's a bunch of that, so uh, let's just take a look around. Uh, we got Warhammer 40k over here and some Age of Sigmar as well. And then we have a pretty huge table with all kinds of Warhammer models, Warhammer 40k, big Tyranid Hive Tyrants and everything, card effects. This is the card con section of the, uh, of the show. We got Disney Lorcana, a trading card game that is, uh, that, is, that is very big at the moment. I think we're at like second edition or a second starter set. Uh, lots of people play it right here. Uh, the One Piece card game, which I know that a few of my community members also play or would love to play. I'm actually pretty interested in this one. Might pick up a booster set for this, uh, just because the art is very, very cool for this game. So over here we have Star Wars Unlimited. Uh, a few of the community members, they want to get into the game. Don't know if I'm ever going to get back into TCGs. Uh, although it is quick, you know, it is quicker than a war game and that's what I, what I like about it. So maybe one day. One thing I want to do is I want to pick up a uh, booster pack for whatever game. I think I'm thinking about maybe One Piece, maybe Pokemon. Um, but let's take a look. What should I, maybe, maybe Dragon Ball? Why not? No, you will. We don't need. No, it's not for playing. It's just for for. We have Warhammer. It's fifty cents because nobody plays it anymore. Okay, so Marte, last time we saw your uh, saw your table, and we yeah. talked about uh, the stuff that you were going to release on Kickstarter, right? Uh, tell me more about it. It's right here, right? Uh, yeah. The. Uh, the test prints are for sale now on Spell Spectacle. That's the only time it will be for sale until the Kickstarter. It's just to fund my upcoming tournament in uh, 23 of March in Hilo. What are you doing today? Uh, I'm playing a tournament. I'm not hosting, but it's all my terrain at the moment. Uh, Everything. The tables that are standing over here uh, are for, for me. Cool, cool. Okay, good luck. I think your opponent is So we're standing here at the, the Kleine Wereld, uh, and uh, there are some people from uh, from uh, the game Conquest right here. So, uh, so can you tell me who you are, what you do? Yeah, sure. I'm Kevin. Uh, I live in the Netherlands, just outside of Rotterdam, and I'm here today uh, promoting Conquest, which is a game by Parabellum, a tabletop game that can be played in one of two ways. There's either a skirmish game, or there's a rank and file game. I guess for people that are familiar with wargaming, it would be similar to Age of Sigmar in the skirmish version or uh, Old World or original Warhammer Fantasy in the rank and file setting. One of the big benefits of this game is that the rules are free, which is obviously great, um, and they are updated regularly, uh, roughly every kind of two months or so, uh, and that's to maintain balance. The way the game is played is not like Warhammer, um, so instead of having like my round and then your round, we take alternate activations, and that's defined by the order of those cards with the QR codes. When I first got into Conquest, one of my fears was, how does a new game that's only kind of five years old compete with something like Warhammer or, or Games Workshop games that have 30 years of history, you know? And they're stories that are, are, are much more mainstream, people are more familiar with the characters. How do we compete with that? And the way that it has been done is that every we have eight factions. They're all unique in terms of mechanics and way of playing but also they all have their unique backstories. The other thing that the community has done really well is that uh, kind of world building, we call it the living world, yeah. allows people to vote and change the narrative of what's happening in that world, which is quite unique for a war game to have that level of community interaction. 
but it's helping build the, the backstory of, of why armies are the way they are or how different battles are going on throughout the world. And then that builds up this living kind of history that changes every few months. What would you recommend for first time players to do? Like what, what to buy or what to watch? Or wh where do you start when you want to start playing uh, Conquest? We have a system called Vanguards, which is what I'm a part of. And it's people that volunteer for Parabellum yeah. to represent the game and build that community. So try and find your Vanguard. That's the first uh -huh, thing. Yeah. So that was it for Spell of Spectacle 2024. Uh, my biggest question at the beginning of the day was, uh, was I going to buy the starter box for Ark World or for Moonstone? And uh, here we are. We got the uh, the Moonstone starter box. Very, very happy with it. I played a demo of it uh, with, with this gentleman right here who just took the, okay. <laughs> took the Lumpia. No, I already got. <laughs> Thank you, no, no, I already got. Thank, thank, thank. So, so this was the guy who gave me the demo. It was really, really nice. Uh, Moonstone seems to be a quick game. Uh, that I can hopefully play with my girlfriend. She painted her first mini today, which was very, very cool. Another big surprise for me was Conquest, uh, the last argument of kings. I'm probably going to head out to, um, uh, to near Rotterdam somewhere and play Conquest myself, because it seems, seems to be a game that um, is well supported and it's getting bigger and bigger over here in Europe, not only in uh, the USA. Uh, so yeah, that was it for Spell Spectacle. Thanks a lot and uh, I will see you guys later.